In Windows 11, setting up encrypted DNS is simple. Just go to DNS, choose DNS IP, and turn on DNS over HTTPS. But in this video, we will show you how to set up encrypted DNS in Windows 10 and choose from some of the best DNS providers available. First, download the software linked below. This is the original open source project, but for long this has not been updated, so we will be using its fork. Fork refers to a developer cloning a project to update it independently. In the video, we will present scan results for this software and compare them with the original, including insights from the fork's developer about the findings, so stay tuned. Now you may ask why encrypted DNS? Well, using encrypted DNS is crucial for enhancing online privacy and security. It prevents unauthorized parties from intercepting or manipulating DNS queries, which can reveal the websites you visit. Encrypted DNS protocols like DNS over TLS DOT, and DNS over HTTPS DOH, ensure that only the user and the DNS resolver can understand the queries, safeguarding against eavesdropping and cyber attacks. This is particularly important when using public Wi-Fi networks, where vulnerabilities are more prevalent. Overall, encrypted DNS is a significant step towards a more secure and private internet experience. After installing, search the program in Windows Search and Open. The first step is to install the DNS proxy service, which is crucial for obtaining encrypted DNS. There is a dedicated project for this service, and more information can be found in the link provided below. Now enable the network device. It may be your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We will be using DNS with malware filter, so we will uncheck this. Now turn off the automatic mode and select one DNS server that gives you best performance in terms of speed and stability. To check which DNS is good for your region, watch full video. I will show you how to ping DNS to check its latency. Advanced tab should be left alone. If you are getting internet after some time after reboot, then you can turn off NetProbe timeout, which basically is wait time to check if DNS proxy service is running or not to prevent DNS leaks. Here, make sure you have only one DNS checked and click on apply. Now exit the Simple DNS app from Taskbar. Cause we need only this service running in the background. Here is the list of recommended DNS providers for better speed, security, and privacy. For this video, we will be testing Control DDNS and Cloudflare DNS. Control D DNS is highly customizable. I recommend it using on mobile phones as private DNS, as it also have the ability to block annoying pop-up full-screen adverts that comes on most of Play Store apps and games. Here is how you can set custom DNS in most browsers. Go to Browser Settings, Privacy and Security section. Inside Security, you will see Select DNS Provider. Just copy-paste DOH DNS. Keep in mind, DOT DNS is to be used for mobile. Just open mobile settings, type private DNS, and put in the DOT DNS address there. Steps are same if you want to use Cloudflare DNS. Keep in mind, DOH and DOT are the encrypted and private DNS. Just putting 1.11.1 are legacy and unencrypted DNS. Now let's ping DNS in command prompt to see which have better resolve speed. First, copy DOT DNS and type ping in command prompt. Paste it and press enter. Here you can see results are pretty good. Now let's try with Cloudflare DNS.
we got even better resolve speed with Cloudflare. Keep in mind, lower is better. Anything below 60ms is pretty good, so you can use any DNS you want. Result may vary depending on location. Links for this list will be given below. To check if browser is using our set DNS or not, you can go to this site. As Cloudflare DNS uses Cloudflare server, so Cloudflare name is showing up, but other providers may use different servers if the server name is different from your ISP name than you're using encrypted custom DNS. Here is one more way to check if your Cloudflare DNS is encrypted or not. Just type 1.1.1.1 slash help in your address bar and check to see if DOH is showing yes or not. Yes means you are using encrypted DNS. Now for the scan result for the forked simple DNS app. We got five detection, which are false positive, as developer didn't got code signing certificate, which cost money. But as this is an open source project, most projects are flagged due to this reason. Here you can see the issue we raised. Now to remove Simple DNS app from PC. Just type remove in Windows, search find the app and click on uninstall. I know this video may sound complicated, but it's only one time setup. Leave a like if it helps. Thank you.